it's your Ta Girl Mary and welcome back to my channel. Maulan na tanghali sa inyong lahat dahil currently I'm filming right now. Medyo malakas yung ulan. Anyway, in today's video, we will be talking about a new budget phone in the block and that is the Huawei Y6P. So yes guys, hindi papatalo ang Huawei. Meron din silang bagong budget phone. Before I finally unbox the Huawei Y6P, let me just say, ang ganda ng packaging or ng box niya dahil very colorful, masarap sa mata, and talagang naka-emphasize na it has 4GB of RAM with 64GB of internal storage. So let's see guys, on this video, yes, we will find out po kung magiging or competitive enough ba itong Huawei Y6P sa market ngayon. Siyempre, as always, makikita natin agad yung smartphone. Naka-plastic pa siya na ganito. And it has stickers. At nandun yung ating SIM ejector tool or yung panundot. And the Huawei warranty card and the Huawei quick start guide. We also have here a free jelly case. Actually, I saw a few unboxing videos and wala silang free jelly case. And what I am unboxing right now, ito na yung retail unit. So, kompleto na siya. So, sa mga nagtatanong, may nag-DM kasi sa akin, he, he or she is planning on buying a Huawei Y6P and he or she keeps on asking me kung may libre yung jelly case ba. So, confirm, may libre pong jelly case ang Huawei Y6P. We also have the power brick, a micro USB charging cable. Yes, guys, micro USB. And last but not least, meron po tayong earphones. Ooh. So, itong Huawei Y6P na meron ako, guys. This is the emerald green. And available din siya in two other colors. Meron tayong phantom purple and the midnight black. Actually, first impressions ko dito sa Huawei Y6P nung unang beses ko siyang nakita, I almost... Actually, akalang-akala ko talaga siya yung Huawei Y7P dahil sobrang magkahawig sila. Well, sadly guys, I don't have the Huawei Y7P with me now kasi nga pinag-giveaway natin siya. But I'll be inserting na lang a short clip here para makita nyo yung comparison natin. Anyway, speaking of design, since nandito na rin naman tayo, manonotice nyo na may pa-S siya every time na tatapatan siya ng ilaw. Actually, if makikita nyo dito sa ating camera, hindi siya ganun ka-obvious, pero dito sa B-roll natin, it has a lot of curved lines every time na ititilt nyo siya. Not necessarily pa-S. Actually, medyo malayo pala. Pero marami siyang curved lines kung itatapat nyo siya or ititilt nyo siya. At isa pang na-notice ko ha, lesser na or kung bagang manipest na yung camera bump natin. And it also has a fingerprint sensor at the back na medyo matte naman. On the right side of the device, meron po tayong volume rocker. And then sa ilalim, nandun yung ating power button. Sa ibabaw, meron tayong secondary microphone. And sa ilalim po, we have a headphone jack, microphone, a micro USB port, and speaker grill. Sa kanyang left guys, nandito yung ating SIM card tray. Dual SIM siya and expandable up to 256GB. Thankfully guys, Huawei considered na hindi siya gawing via nano memory card because first of all, this is a budget phone that cost 5,990 pesos and sinabi ko na agad yung price and I know naman most of you guys already know how much this cost. Pre-order details, sabihin ka na lang po mamaya. I'm glad guys that Huawei considered na via micro SD card dahil yung iba, syempre, since budget conscious ka nga, you consider this device, magiging kahit pa paano budget conscious din sila in case na kailangan nilang bumili ng memory card to expand their storage if hindi enough yung 64GB. So, maliit na bagay pero of course, it's worth considering. And also guys, dahil nga doon sa kanyang curved lines and doon sa parang reflective effect niya, I almost thought na made of glass siya. But with most phones na ganito yung price range na 5,990 pesos, hindi na rin actually ako mag-expect ng glass back. Pero ang sabi ng Huawei guys, meron siyang high density back panel, meaning very durable yung pagka-plastic niya. Well, I'm not here to test that dahil hindi naman ako si Jerry rig everything. Actually, may isa pang feature itong Huawei Y6P guys na nagulat din ako considering its price. Meron siyang reverse charging and backup mode. So, pwede niyang i-charge yung isa pang device na isasaksak mo sa kanya, katulad ng paggamit natin sa isang power bank. Siyempre, all you need is an OTG cable para magamit natin yung reverse charging charging. Plus, yung sinabi ko kanina guys na backup mode, pwede tayong mag-data backup at i-transfer siya sa isa pang Android smartphone up to 60 Mbps. I rarely see budget phones sa may ganitong klase ng features. 
And since pinag-uusapan na rin naman natin yung reverse charging, pag-usapan na rin natin yung isa pa niyang strength na battery life. Ang Huawei Y6P guys, mayroon siyang 5,000 mAh battery capacity. One of the biggest capacity rin to guys in this price range. And yung included charger sa kanya, it can charge the battery up to 10 watts. But medyo na-disappoint lang ako and yung iba baka ma-disappoint lang din ng konti dahil micro USB pa rin siya until now. Also, add ko lang po, as I said earlier, mayroon siyang fingerprint sensor and a face unlock. I'm quite impressed guys knowing that this is a budget phone that cost 5,990. 90 pesos for including a fingerprint sensor. Siyempre, may mga times, guys, na mas mabilis, minsan mas convenient din to some people ang gamitin, or I mean, nagamitin yung fingerprint sensor kaysa sa face unlock. Mabilis siya, guys, in recognizing my face. In fairness, for a budget phone, it's not bad, but hindi naman siya yung super bilis as we see sa mga mid-range devices. Now, pag-usapan naman natin guys yung kanyang display. Meron po siyang 6.3 inches HD plus IPS LCD display with 1600 by 720 pixels resolution. And it has a drew drop notch na mayroong 8 megapixels front camera. As expected guys, for a budget phone, hindi naman ganun ka-impressive yung kanyang display. But considering na thinner na yung bezels niya side by side, although medyo makapal lang ng konti yung chin natin. And it has a high screen to body ratio na 18.4%, which is okay na okay for watching movies, gaming, and browsing through social media. Okay na okay na rin. Huawei Y6P is running on EMUI 10.1 based on Android 10. So good news to guys, ibig sabihin, yung ibang features na nakikita natin sa ibang latest phones ng Huawei, like of course the Huawei Nova 7i, makikita rin natin siya ngayon dito sa Huawei Y6P. So yes, huwag kayong magalala guys, meron pa rin tayong dark mode. Now pag-usapan natin ng mabilisan lang yung Huawei App Gallery na itong Huawei Y6P. The App Gallery guys, it will be pre-installed already dito sa Huawei Y6P once you purchased it. Actually, patagal ng patagal since simula nung nag-start tayong mag-review ng Huawei Mate 30 Pro. That was the time that I started using the App Gallery. From that moment guys until now para may nang para actually yung applications that we can download from it so ano ano nga ba yung mga applications that are working here sa Huawei Y6P in terms of social media apps online banking applications editing and photography apps actually guys eto mga sasabihin kong applications it's either you can download this via the app gallery, katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, or sa third-party APK websites like again, APK Pure or APK Monk. So we have Mobile Legends, Candy Crush, Share It, Lazada, Food Panda, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook Messenger, WPS Office, Spotify, Booking.com, Shopee, TikTok, Subway Surfer. May mention ko lang yung mga major applications but actually marami pang iba. If you are wondering kung paano mag-work yung YouTube, Google Mail, or Google Drive, it will still work po dito sa inyong Huawei Y6P. Gagana siya, huwag kayong magalala, pero sa browser niya siya ma-access. So what I usually do guys, for the mail, hindi na ako nag access doon sa browser mismo. Kung hindi, doon sa mismong mail app na naka install na dito sa Huawei Y6P when I first had it. And then for the YouTube naman guys, of course, important ito sa akin. Huwag kayo maglala. Kapag ginagamit ko yung YouTube, gumagawa ako ng shortcut via the browser. Tapos, napupunta siya doon sa homepage ko para mas mabilis ko siyang ma-access. Now, the chipset. Mary, for 5,990 pesos, marirecommend mo ba yung Huawei Y6P? Pwede na ba siya for people who are budget conscious pero into gaming? Actually guys, itong Huawei Y6P, it has the MediaTek Helio P22 with octa-core processor. Again, meron po siyang 4GB of RAM with 64GB of internal storage. Honestly speaking guys, yung MediaTek Helio P22, madalas na natin tong naririnig or nakikita sa ibang budget phones the past few years. Actually, magdadalawang taon na. Playable siya, magagamit mo pa rin naman siya, pero it doesn't have the best graphics. Kung tataasan natin yung kanyang settings sa Asphalt 9, magiging mas noticeable yung frame drop sa kanya. So, for some games na medyo high graphics nga, kailangan nyo babaan lang ng konti para malaro at maging playable siya.
if casual gamer lang naman kayo, katulad ng mga minention ko kanina, like, for example, Candy Crush, Subway Surfer, or other fan games na pampalipas oras, definitely, I would recommend the Huawei Y6P. Pero wala naman ako naging problema, guys, in terms of daily tasks, katulad nga ng web browsing, social media use. Pakita ko rin sa inyo, guys, yung anting and to benchmark results nang naka-off yung performance mode at nang naka-on yung performance mode. Last but not the least, guys, pag-usapan natin ng mabilisan yung kanyang cameras. We have a triple AI camera setup at the back na mayroong 13 megapixels f1.8 for the main camera, 5 megapixels wide-angle lens, and a 2 megapixels depth sensor. For the primary camera, guys, decent and maganda naman yung detail na binibigay sa atin ng Huawei Y6P. Satisfied din ako sa kanyang autofocus and the colors are accurate considering, again, the price. Now, for the front camera naman, guys, na ipapakita ko sa inyo yung mga sample shots natin. You actually need a lot of light to achieve this kind of photos yung mga meron ako ngayon. Because medyo kapag low light na, medyo nagsistruggle na yung device. So, ayun guys, pagdating sa front-facing camera, I suggest better take photos outdoor or sa bintana para enough yung ilaw natin. Para ma-achieve natin yung, alam nyo yun, Instagramable selfie photos. Other things that you guys might want to know, wala po siyang night mode. Wala siyang dedicated night mode. Sayang, sana nilagyan nila ng night mode. Although, okay naman ako sa set of cameras. It's versatile. I'm also good that they decided to put a depth sensor or an ultra-wide camera instead of a macro lens. For the videos naman, guys, we can shoot up to 1080p at 30fps. The 1080p at 30fps, you can lower down the resolution to 720 at 30fps. Pero, syempre, dun tayo sa mas mataas. And, let's see if it is stabilized. Punta tayo dun. Sorry, guys. Ang kalat. Super. It has been a really stressful week. But, colors were accurate. But, it's not that stabilized. But, I am really not expecting that much. As always, guys, ibibigay ko sa inyo yung pros and cons natin para patas tayo dito. Siyempre, may mga nagustuhan ako dito sa Huawei Y6P at medyo may mga part naman ako na na-disappoint ng konti. Unang-una, yung battery capacity niya. It's 5,000 mAh battery capacity. And yes, indeed, it lasted me for almost two days. Pangalawa, gusto ko yung feature nito na pwede tayong mag-charge ng isa pang device sa kanya. Again, knowing na malaki nga yung kanyang battery capacity, it can work as a power bank. And I also like the design, guys. Very stylish. Hindi siya boring sa mata. Talagang nakikipagsabayan din siya sa kanyang mga competitors na budget phones. And last but not the least, gusto ko yung presyo niya. 5,890 pesos pang masa. Perfect to perfect, lalo na sa mga taong budget conscious. At isa pa, in case that you will pre-order this Huawei Y6P, you will be receiving a bundle worth of 7,264 pesos of items. Ano yung mga kasama sa kanya and worth to purchase? Actually, available siya in Lazada and Shopee and sa kanilang Huawei website. So, ilalagay ko na lang po yung mga links sa baba. So, ano naman yung mga cons? So, syempre, hindi naman perfect lahat ng phones. Unang-una, hindi ganun kabago yung processor na ginamit sa kanya. So, nabawi naman siya dahil latest OS na yung meron ito. Smooth and optimized pa rin naman siyang gamitin. Second ko, nito hindi to big deal sa iba. But again, I would prefer sana if USB Type-C na yung ginamit sa kanya. So yes guys, overall, para sa akin, sulat talaga itong smartphone na to for having a 4GB of RAM with 64GB of internal storage. Again, big battery capacity na 5000 mAh. Decent cameras and maganda yung kanyang design. And last but not the least, saktong-sakto lang yung price point niya. Anyway, that is it for now guys for our unboxing and review of the Huawei Y6P. Sorry guys, medyo ganun yung boses ko dahil may sakit ako, may sipon po ako. But anyway guys, salamat po again. It's your Tagal Mary and see you on my next video. Bye guys!